both. Who are you? I am that tiny seed that has come to make sure the bird is put to shame. I am that seed that has refused to germinate on fertile soil. I am the famished flamingo that has refused to feed on worms. What do you want from me? I have come to make sure that you do the dance of shame. With the stripes of your blood on this famished grass. Ah! <laughs> such a scary dream before. Hey, Kizzy. No. I thought you have gone to the farm already. No, I'll soon go. Okay. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. I say, don't. Don't come close to me. Don't. You know you're all I have. Tell me. Tell me why. Tell me why at my age I cannot find a man to love me. What is wrong? Look, there is nothing wrong with you. I will talk to the girls about it. In fact, I will do something about it today. Please don't do it. For my sake, don't do it. You know, you're all I have. My eye. Open the eye that depends you, God. Don't do it. Olama, if you do it, the girls will reject your spirit and they will throw you into the evil forest. What is wrong with me? I, I saw myself doing it. 
Ofoma, why has no man come for me? Why has no man come close to me? Why? Ola, you just have to stop thinking that you're not complete without a man. How would I stop thinking about it when no man has come close you to me? You just have to. How? Oma, Ma, I need a man. Desperation is a terrible thing. And it leads to death. Ola. Ola. You're still on this. I'm almost done. Okay. No. Oh. Welcome. Hello. Did anyone go there to fetch water with a cooking pot? Nobody has been able to see what happened. Hey, this is strange. Strange? Very strange. No one stream dried up in a rainy season. People say that she was angry because for seven months now no sacrifice has been made to her. And me, I believe so. Anyway, I'm going to go to fetch some water. You say that? Let him say that. You're going to Indolo to fetch water. Eh? Even people they are wicked and they hate us. I'm only going there to fetch water. And I know they are not going to send me back. Besides, I don't have any mark on my forehead to show that I'm from Amoli Mimi. Ekeze. Ogini. Ekeze. Eh? If you love your life, go back home. You and I know very well that Indolo people hate us very well. Have you ever heard that they killed anybody from his clan? So do not be the one I will hear about his death. Then nothing will happen to me. Go home, let me go and fetch okay, him. If the gods reject my spirit, I will reject them. You're all I have. My eye. <laughs> <laughs> If you do it, the ghost will reject your spirit.
I come in peace. What brings you to the clan that has a long anger in heart for your people? Mono suddenly dried up. I'm only here to fetch some water. And you will fall into the arms of the famished flamingo. I've never seen a flamingo before. I don't think there is one in Indiolo. I only hear it in folk tales. And you wouldn't want to see one, would you? What happened to you? Mother, I'm sorry. I will come back again. What are you talking about? Went to want me to fetch some water. Oh. oh no river does not let her own get drowned in her belly. No, what are you talking about? Oh. Eh? Talk to me. My daughter. Hmm? 
in my dream, I saw a case drowned in a river. Hey, Jimmy. Uh, uh, May the gods forbid. Yes, Greetings, Ime. Greetings. Okay. How are you? I'm fine, Ime. I'm fine. Okay. Did you see Ekeze? Ekeze? Yes. Is he not yet back from Ndiolo? Uh, Did he go to Ndiolo? Uh, yes. He said, he said he was going to Ndiolo because Owen River dried up this morning. No! Uh, Why didn't you stop him? Why didn't you stop him? Hey! Dima! Uh, what is happening? Sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. What the fuck? Where is she going to now? Sorry. Sorry. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven kegs of palm wine from wood. When I have money, I will certainly pay you. <laughs> Mazi! 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 Mazi, I'm finished. Mwada, is that you? It's me, Adadi. Uh, Adadi, why are you screaming as if someone bitten by a snake? Please. You have to come with me. Ekeze is in trouble. Biko. What trouble? He went to Ndiolo to fetch water. Yes. And then my mother came around and said she saw him drown in a river in her dream. Uh. Yes. Does your mother have a river in her dream? Her dream always come to pass. Uh. If AKZ has gone to Ndiol, it means he will not return. Mazi, eh? you cannot say such a thing about your late brother's only son. But your mother said it before me. Uh, let us talk on how to bury him. Uh, have you found his corpse? <laughs> you scare me when you say things like this. Any man from Amole Emily who ventured in Tondiolo is considered a dead man. Hmm? Yes. What happened to her? Uh, uh, I saw her drowning in the river. Hola! Uh, Why are you doing this to yourself? Do, do you know her? Yes, she's uh, my friend. Please take me to her house. This way. Eh? Thank you, my son. It's all right, Emne. What is your name? My name is Ekezi, the son of Obiazo. Ah. Oh, thank you for saving my only daughter. You thank the gods. Emne, mm. I'll take my leave now. Send my best to you. 
I'll do that. What does he look like? He is so handsome. Tall, bold, and dark. Yes. Did you see his face? I saw a dark man before I became unconscious at the river. Yes, he is the one. I'm so glad that the gods have finally sent your heart drop after a long time of waiting. I'm so glad. Hmm. And you said you think he's from Amo Limeli? Yes, I followed him to Ama and he took the way to Ama Limeli. But why would the God send a man from Amo Limeli? He might be from Umeze. I just hope so. What are you doing here? How did you find this place? Oh. I was coming to say thank you for saving my life the other day. I did not save your life. The gods did. It's okay. I brought this for you. Go home with your hand. I know you appreciate what the gods did for you. Please, go home with it. I don't need it. That is why we have come. Yes. If you had told me we are going to come today, I would have informed my husband's people. Now they've all gone to Molo for a burial. Um, um, no problem, madam. No problem. Um, we will wait. Yes. Until we they come wait. back. Yes. Huh? Uh, where, where is Olama? Olama? Where are you coming from with the hen? Olama. It's all right. It's okay. There's no problem. Excuse me. I'll be with you in a few minutes. I'm not at all. Okay. Mother, can you imagine? Ekeze returned my gift. He rejected it. You want to see him? Yes. You should have allowed him to go with you. Mother, I am old enough to go to such places. <laughs> he was right. That boy is full of wisdom. And if I could walk a long distance, I would have gone with you to see him. Are the people of Amo Limili really wicked? Are they evil? Is he from Amo Limili? Yes, but please don't tell my mother. Okay. Let's go to the kitchen and sit down. Oh, okay. Ne. This way. Ne. Yeah. <laughs> 
Mm. Why do we hate the people of Amoli, Mili? Mm -mm. Her thread starts from the eyes and then the mouth. And finally, it lingers to the heart. I do not understand. I said, her thread starts from the eyes and then the mouth. And finally, it lingers to the heart. But that is not the case of Amo Limili and Ndiolo. In a sense, what you're saying in a sense is that. Hola, Ma. Come and greet our visitors. Nee, I am not coming out to greet them. I have told Okelwe that I do not wish to marry him. You know him? Yes. He does not have regards for women. Nee. Stop confusing this girl. The other day she wanted to take her life because she said men do not approach her. Now she's here rejecting the suitor. Ne is not confusing me. I don't like Okilwe. No. My daughter is sick. You have to go and come back later. It's like your daughter doesn't like my son. No. She has no choice. Anything I ask her to do, she does. I tell her what to do. Excuse me. We have to go and come back later. Okay, which means we are coming tomorrow. Let's check. Papa. What are you doing here? I have come to see you. To see me? Yes. I want to ask you a question. Do you hate me? That is not what you have in mind of asking. You want to ask why my people hate your people and why your people hate my people. I do not talk about hate. I do not hate. See? I want to talk about us. Do you hate me? I will not risk you if my people see you here. Oh, I know this is Umoma. This is not Amo Lili. That's why I came to meet you. Go home. Go home. Why? Since the day you saved me from the river, you have refused to set your eyes on me. What have I done to you? Go home! Who does he even think he is? You did what? You went to Amal Limili? What is wrong with you? Oma, bring your voice down. What is wrong with you? You're shouting. Yes, I will shout. I will shout because I can't believe you, you, you could play with your life like this. What were you thinking? Just listen. I only went there to thank him for saving my life. And then, suddenly I, I started feeling something strong for him. Oma, he is a charming man. <sighs> Ola? He is from Amao Limili. And he is human. That is all I need right now. A real man. Just, just 
that's all right. Uri! Why are you looking at me as if you've not seen me before? I, can I help you with the firewood? Did I tell you my neck is hurting? I didn't say so. I just wanted to help you. Go and help yourself. Why do you... Why do you hate me? I hate you because I do not like you. <laughs> I mean, what is funny? You are funny. <laughs> I know what you want. And let me tell you, you will never get it. It's okay. Give me the firewood. Let me help you. Oh. to go before your father sees me. Thank you. For what? For forcing my firewood off my head. <laughs> What is it? What is it? Is this how you treat a woman who is fond of you? I am talking to you. Can't you see that I love you? Why are you shouting at me? Why? Why I'm shouting? Like you said, do you know how many men in my clan are asking for my hand in marriage? Yet you treat me like an outcast each time I come to you. I am going to Umweze. And this journey is too far. Hey, Casey. Hey, You behave so surreal. You must be possessed by one vile evil spirit. I am not possessed by any evil spirit. If you are not, then whatever that has possessed you is stronger than evil spirit. You are right. I am possessed. I am direly possessed by the love I have for you and it sears beyond my heart. Kiss me. I have never loved any man before. Please just listen to me. I love you and this love chokes me. Please. Flamingo. Famished Flamingo. I don't want to die. I know who you are. What, what did you call me? Famished Flamingo. Leave me alone! Once, many years ago, I was in love with a man. Did he call you a flamingo? He called you that? Yes. Nee. What does a flamingo connote? Mm. They say 
It leads other animals into the heart of a lake where they meet their doom. Mm. Um, yeah. mm. Can you now tell me why we are not in good terms with the people of Amoli? Mm. Few men from this clan, which include your father, went for wrestling contest and they never returned. And they were killed by the people of Amoli Mili. They were never heard of. And we waited for them to return, but they never did. And we assumed that they were killed by the people of Amolimili. Assumed? We let assumption take peace away. Mm. Ekezie, I prefer to die in Amolimili while trying to prove my love for you. It is love or death. My daughter, I have a baton to come on. Thank you, I don't want to do this. Thank you. Thank you, let me help you with this. <laughs> so who knows what you mean? Yes! <laughs> Trust me. Hey, Ma! You're back! Yeah. Why you, why you, why you? I can say welcome. <laughs> hey! Put them walking! Take this it's okay, I will. Hey! Oh! Hey! 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 Now listen to if me. If you continue to hurt me this way, I might just take my life. I am still talking. Listen to me. Stop this affection. It is not going to work. You did not just say that. Say it again. Because people are talking. They are talking about my venture into Ndiolo. Hmm. The 8th grade is going to invite you to caution you. Ike, talk something more important. So what I'm saying now is not important. Talk. Cha. It's not. Ike, from the way you are talking, it seems you've seen a beautiful woman in Indiolo. Because of that, you don't see any danger going to Indiolo. I will be waiting for you under the tree of blood when the sun graces the center of the sky. If you are late, you might just see my body dangling there. What? And I will have your name on my lips. Who is Ola? Hey! Ola! 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 Ola!
please. Where's it your blood? Ah, why are you running? I hope there's no problem. Please, where's it your blood? It's behind the armor. Where's the armor? Where's the armor? Close to the river. Okay. You are not wicked anyway. I... I thought I won't see you again. You love me then? I mean, why does it look odd when a woman goes after the man she loves? Why does it? Why do they think I that... I love you, Mama. I love you. You too. shouldn't have done this. Did you just say that? I am the one who ought to be unhappy here. But I am not. So why are you so upset? What if you become pregnant? Then that settles it. I will become your wife. What is wrong with you? Why don't you think like others? Think like others. Think that we are enemies. I can say I am not your enemy. Listen. I love you from my heart. Keep on thinking about you. I'll continue to love you. I will not hurt you. I break your heart. Oh, I'll keep on loving you. Okay. Can we see her tomorrow? tomorrow? Why? Because this place is not free for me. Oh, you don't have to bother. When you come tomorrow, we'll go to Moba together. It's okay. Let me start going. Hmm? Okay. Uh, send my regards to your mother. She will hear. Okay. I'm, I'm good. You're still standing. This boy from Amolimili has been my rival. Hi! We shall see. Go on.
what is it that makes my son to smile and laugh at the same time? Mother, nothing. Nothing? I see. I once felt like this when I was young. When you're ready to tell me. Did you do that? I almost fainted. I'm sorry. Where are you going to? I'm just taking a walk. In that case, I can take a walk with you. Why will you walk with me? Are you my husband? Who knows? I can be one. How did I end up here today? Love. Love brought you here. Why must it be me? Don't you know? You are charming. <laughs> you know the right word to suit me with. <laughs> <laughs> what if you and I live here together? Forever. Are you seeing what I am thinking? I can take one to your father. Only if you say yes. <laughs> We just started talking yesterday. And it's like ages. I can take care of you. Do you know, I actually came out to see if I could see you. <laughs> I did say it. I did say it. I love you. I love you too. It's very warm. It's very, very warm. I like that smile. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you and your friend Ikizi 
plucking some rare leaves. Someone has been watching me for a very long time now. The same way someone has been watching me for a very long time too. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Bad. You are your sweet mouth. When a woman is sweet, you call her sweet names. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Ike! Ike! Ure! 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 Ike! 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 Ike, what is it? He said you are sweet. How on earth did he know you are sweet? He was just praising me. And you were almost melting into his arms. Into his arms. Are you just jealous? Well, it is said when a man is jealous, he's truly in love. Oh, Green. I'm sorry. Not that I was angry. I, I, I don't like the way he was talking to you. His eyes was just becoming very, very calm as if okay. he, has, he, has, he has interest on you. It's okay. He was just praising me. Hmm? Praising you? It's okay. Don't let that kind of praise. Mm, it's okay. You know you have to leave. I love you. I love you too, my lion. The ranging light in your eyes. The candid life in your voice. The love. The serene love. It leaves me hunger for the day you become my wife. Why has the gods chosen to bless me more than other maidens? I do not think it is because I am too beautiful. I know why. You do? Okay. We have an unfinished affection in our previous life, in our past world. Why do we think alike? Because we were one in our past life. We've been in love before we were born in this life. I 
hope this love goes with us to the afterlife. <laughs> yes, my queen. Oh. is a barrier. Ah, God. But why do you keep having this bad dream about a, a case here? Yeah. Hmm. I, I dream about him always. Mm -hmm. Sweet dreams. This time, it, it moved from, from sweet to scary, full of nightmares, full of blood, yelling of pains, anguish, and cries. Then, he might be thinking of you too. Wherever he is, it's all right. They had to speak. It's all right. It's all right. Are you worried? I'm worried about what your people will say and what my people will say. The hatred has been there before us. Need I remind you that I don't talk about it? Because see, love can change it all. Where is the love taking us to? Then let us lead it to peace if it's leading nowhere. Why are you worried? I am worried about the dream. But you've not said anything about the dream. That is because you haven't asked. Okay. Was I killed by your people in the dream? No. You took me to a faraway land. We were made slaves. No, it cannot happen. Um, have you talked to your mother about us? There is no need to do so. What did you say? Are you trying to say this is leading nowhere? I haven't said so. Ikisi, listen to me. We can bring peace to your people and my people. How are we going to do that? Marry me. Better still, let us take an oath. Now I see you really want to put me into trouble. You might not see me again when next you come here.
Is he not yet back? I have not seen him. Where did he tell you he was going to? He didn't say where. He just ran off. Hey. What has come over Ikezi? Eh? Let it not be that he has gone to Ndolu again. No, he will come back. He will come back. I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen her. But she said she was coming to your house. Oh, yes. She came to my house early hours of this morning. But since then, we haven't seen. Where could she be? Eh? I have no idea. What happened to Okezi? I don't know. I saw him in the bush when I went to pick some herbs. Please, go to the best house. Find out if Oma is there. to her. It's like she ate poisonous leaves. Poisonous leaf? Yes. How could she eat poisonous leaf? I don't know. I don't know what has come over all of Then what about the young man? He's alright. Say your father is Obiazo. Obiazo. Is he from this clan? I'm not from this clan. I'm from Amoli. What? Yes. You? So it was you that pushed my daughter into the river the last time? No. I saw her drowning, then I saved her. Shut up. Shut up, you wicked boy from Amoli Mili. It was you that pushed my daughter into the river. What are you talking about? How can I possibly push a maiden that I do not know into the river? Now tell me, why did you want to take her life? No, I did not push her into the river. I, you stand before me and lie. You pushed her into the river. You wanted to kill her the same way your people killed her father. Now get out. From my house before I cast a spell on you. Get get out. So you are the man from Amoli Mili who has been occupying the woman and betrothed to. I don't know who you're betrothed to. Maybe when you join your grandfather's in the grave, they will tell you. Hey. Now, do you have any last wish? Please, please, I beg of you, please let me go. And I will never set my feet on this clan anymore. Please, I beg you. You mean you will not set your feet on this land again? I, I, I swear by honey, I swear. Good. I will help you do so. Please, please don't kill me. I'm the only son of my mother, please. My mother's brother was the only surviving son of the family. But your people killed him. Because they defeated them. 
in a wrestling contest. Please don't spill it! Don't spill it! to say goodbye. Something. I just saw the young man who, who saved Olama lying dead by the river bank. I'ma go home. It's only the foolish that uses thorns on their ears. Mm. Yes. Who did she say is dead? Nobody died. Is it my AKC? No. Just it. Please. with a palm front. Hmm. Adad, you have to get hold of yourself. Hmm? Oh, okay. Please. Can somebody talk to me, please? Nee. Words came from India with that. It came they drowned in their river. said she was here to tell me about her mother's dream but I was already drunk my brother will be cursing me from his grave that is why you have to keep the drink aside so that we can talk on how to bring his body back and give him a barrier but I had his body was thrown into the evil forest why Will he do it in like that? Huh? Why? Huh? Why will look is it take such an uh, such a risky adventure? Huh? We can't let this happen. We can't be silent like weaklings. 
we must fight. Ikem, tell me why I should fight for a man who went to dine with our enemies. Ikezi is our own blood. One of us. We cannot let his blood cry in the land of Idolu for nothing. We must do something. We have to fight. I am not a warrior. And anyone who wants to die in Indiolu should take a fight to their doorstep. Excuse me. When I had this dream, I made sacrifices three times. And finally, this, this is too much and else. <sighs> that lineage is closed. <sighs> My daughter can no longer be a children. <sighs> Bring him back to life. <laughs> Stop. Lady only man. Stop. Oh, for he just for one. It's alright. Do not touch her. Me. Please, I have come to apologize on behalf of my people. Please. Don't tell your people that we will never forgive them. She might have gone to Amo Olimili. What? Ne. You let her go to Amo Olimili. How could you be so... Say a bad word to me and I will lay a case to you. <laughs> Amma, you will not kill me. Amma, you will not kill me. I'll be back in the morning. Go back to your people uh, and tell them how they've left me childless. Please. Please. Let's go in.
who's in this house? Woman. Okay, what are you what are you looking for again? Eh? What do you want again? You came here last night looking for your daughter. What do you want again? Olama hasn't come back from my mole. Uh -huh. How does that concern me? Please, I want you to get some men and go and bring her back for me. Biko. Are, are you insane? Eh? No. Woman, go back to your house. Don't come here again. Go back to your house. Go! I'm going to go back to your house. I'm going to Go back to your people. Let me mourn my son in peace. Mm. I am here to mourn Ikezi. He was the only man I ever loved. Go. Don't let the youth to meet you here. They will kill you. Me, please. Let me Monique is in here. Please. Leave. Mm -hmm. I said leave. Me, please. I just, I just want Get out! Get out! I said get! Have you come to remind me of what I want to forget? I... I... I am carrying his child. My daughter, 
this news brings joy to my heart. <sighs> Could she be telling the truth? Yes. I believe her. Ekezie must come back to us. Ekezie. Obin, my lion, you have been like this since yesterday. I brought some roasted meat for you. <laughs> you don't even know what happened. <laughs> One man came to my house to ask for my hand in marriage. <laughs> you need to see this man. Short, ugly man with big head. <laughs> Obim, please say something. Obim. If you don't want to talk to me, tell me I'll go home. From India, look down for killing a kiss. I was going to your house to remind you about my masquerade initiation. It's tonight. I will be expecting you. Bobo. So, your initiation into the masquerade court is more important than the life of a kiss man. What do you want me to do? Kill myself or bring him back to life? We must take the life of one or two men from India to even score. Mm. Excuse me.
So you left this meat here? Is it what I am thinking? Oh, so another woman has been cooking for you that my food is no longer good? Uri, are you the only one in this clan who did not hear what happened? What happened? No, tell me what happened? That your friend is missing, is that why you are bothering yourself? After all, he chose it. What did you say? That my friend Ekeze chose to die in Indiolo. Have you forgotten that he paid the Dibia when you were sick? Eh, but that will not stop the truth. And what is the truth? He shouldn't have gone to Ndiolu since he knew we were enemies. That is the truth. Thank you very much. But keep the truth to yourself. He came! like nothing happened. Do you realize that AKZ blood cries in Indiolu? What do you want us to do? Do you want us to take a fight to them? How are we sure he did not commit anything that made them to kill him? Mm -mm, mm -mm. AKZ I know will not commit any offense. People of Indiolu killed him because he is from Amolimili. Let us mourn him and move on. Move on until I seek vengeance. Then you can go and take vengeance on your own. For me, I'm living here. He came. So you actually walked out on me. Have you forgotten how you were crying around the village begging me to be yours? He came, I'm talking to you. He came. What he said is true. It is his blood. You'll be crying in Indiolo. Are you saying we should take a fight to them? Yes. I think we kill one or two people at night while they are still asleep. Odi, I can see that you have forgotten. I am my mother's only son. So, what are you trying to tell me? Madhu. Madhu. Why don't you take this fight? Why are you and our land be 
he not free? No. So it will be heard that AKZ will never return again. His image will be forgotten. Just like that. Have you ever thought of what would become of his mother? can never have another child. Poor woman. What do I have to do? Should we leave this fight for just two people? Land. I know it does not please you to see that your son die in the land of your enemies. With this sacrifice, I seek courage. I seek strength. With this sacrifice, I seek the will to fight for a brother.
And what would you tell your chief? That you died while fighting a stupid fight? Our ancestors will send your spirit to a place of pain and your spirit will wander forever! No, I will not let him die. Ike! Oh, please, please wait! Ike! Ike, wait! Sin! What is wrong with you? Are you out of your mind? When did you become a warrior? Stay away from me! Ah! How you push a woman that is carrying your child? What do you say? You heard me. Go! Go and fight and die! And I will tell the child his father was a stupid man! I'm dying. You want me to suffer alone with this pregnancy? No, I, I, I never knew you were pregnant. I never knew. See, you know I hate to see your tears. If you cry, I will cry. Leave me. I'm sorry. Now I know you don't love me. All you care about is your friend. No, I don't talk like that. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> to stop thinking about AKZ and start thinking about us. You know that is not easy. AKZ was my best friend and I feel for his mother. I know, but we should be talking about our marriage. That is important too. Um, sure. That is not going to be possible not until I have invested my yam. Once I invest my yam, I will have enough money to... to for the marriage rights, I have enough money for that. So if I get pregnant for you, you'll be telling me stories. You mean you are not even pregnant? No, I, I am saying now, now that I am pregnant. Uri, tell me the truth. In the name of the gods, are you pregnant? 
Oh. Answer me! Are you pregnant? I just wanted to stop you from going to Ndiolo. Leave my house. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Leave my house now! What is wrong with you? Is he not okay? What about him? <laughs> he said he wants to go to Ndiolu to avenge the death of Ekeze. Ah, Ekeze. Where the gods asleep when this happened to you. Hi. It's alright. Stop crying. Eh? I will go and talk to Ike. Thank you, dear. Where are you going? Dressed like someone sent on an errand by the gods. Hey, uh, I'm going out. This one you're about to sit down. Going to the They killed AKZ. I they drowned in the river. AKZ can never drown in the river. He swung from here to Amaji. I hope you are not here to convince me not to go to Ndiolo. Let me ask you. Have you heard stories of how we became enemies with the people of Ndiolo? No. Okay. Our people were to have wrestling contests with the people of Ndiolo. On the day of the contest, their best warrior Adata, came and defeated our best wrestler, which was your father, Okata. But do you know the worst of it all? They left with our offer. Adata took our offer away. Yes. But on their way home, they encountered something no one could describe. I don't know what you can. 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 Anger their gods by bring it of all. Do they have gods in this their land? I will defile these so that they will not have any means to communicate with their gods if they have any. Adaka! Adaka! You don't do this! No, no, no! We told them, we do not know anything. 
Vengeance can come in any form. Vengeance can come from anyone. Vengeance can as well come from you. All that matters is vengeance. I must get fully prepared for this journey. Someone must lose his son in India. You have a brave head. That one is a marble. No sword will penetrate your body if you use it. When you get home, mush it with sand. Apply it on your foot and nails. Thank you, Day. I will make a sacrifice to the gods to protect you. Day, I really appreciate this. May the gods reward you. Uh, Thank you very much. How I wish I would get the news of your death before the sun set. Fathers, I know you can see me. I know you can hear me. I am ready for this. Go with me. I was saying, once you bring wine to my father, my body, I mean, all of this will become yours. And no man, I mean, no stupid man will ever claim ownership on me again. Hmm? What was that for? Hmm. Hmm. 
Is not even angry. Are you mad or what? Ure! 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 Ure, Ure, my wife. Why must he be mad? Mad? From today, Ure will pass like season. DJ, watch out, soldier! Ah! Where am I? You are in the land of the dead. You have to leave here as soon as possible before you cross the passage. Passage? But how can I go back? I did not bring you here. Where did you find his body? At Ndiolu. Hey! Ike! Ike! Just look at it now. Look at it. You have just wasted your life. Like your father and mother. Leaving this compound and the farmland. He's not dead. He's still alive. He's just unconscious. Is he still alive? He's still alive. But I managed to kill the man that hit him. Oh, okay. L let me go and get some herbs for him. The Dibia was here. He said his spirit is wandering the land of the spirit. His spirit? Still wandering in the land of the spirit? What does that mean? That is what he said. That we should make sacrifice before his spirit goes into passage. Oh, okay, okay. What kind of sacrifice? He said we should make a sacrifice of a goat and alligator pepper. You see, I have one goat. The goat is pregnant. D, we need to act fast before it gets too late. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Let me go and see the Dibia first. Let me go. Why will that idiot survive this? Hey, I will not make any sacrifice of any goat. Let him remain like that, idiot. You will die like your father.
<laughs> Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> so it is true. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> I tried everything to stop him from going to Andiolo to fight, but he will not listen. Oh, look at <laughs> Orema, he is still alive. He is just unconscious. Are you sure? Yes. He is still alive. He is alive. Who should I choose to take you into the passage? Your mother, your father, or your best friend, Ikez? No, 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 I don't want to stay here. I want to go back. I, I, I want to go back. I will choose for you myself. Your mother. No, 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 please. Please. No. No, 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 please. Please. Please, I'm begging you, please. Please, no. No. No, please. Please. Let me go home now. I'll see you later in the day. Okay. Thank you very much. Not even go and see his corpse. He's not dead. He's unconscious. Let him go and tell this chick. Hey, let us talk about my about my mascot in here sometime. Oh, we are very stupid. Huh? Hey. I thought you went to see the Divya. I will go and see him later. I want to make sure that these monkeys are not eating my crops. I told you what the Divya said. He will be going into the passage if we don't act fast. And I told you I will go and see him later. Or you, should, should I allow these monkeys to feast on my crops? happened to you? I was on my way to Indiolu. To avenge the death of your friend? He was his mother's only child. His mother's only child. Follow me.
thank you. Thank you for bringing his corpse back to us. Thank you. He was born so that peace will come to Amo Olimili oh. and Ndioro. His kindness has no boundary. Oh. He helped an old woman who happens to be me. No, no, it is not done in my place. Where I come from, you don't see an old woman like you carrying a load. I'll let you pass me. No, it's not done, please. Please, let me help you, please. Please. Thank you, my son. It's okay, let's go. My son. No. Do you know I have been taken from afar? No one yet. No, it's okay. Where is your house? Okay, yeah. Let's go. There is no one. There is no man as kind as you are in this whole clan. Now I've told you to stop praising me. Hmm? I'm not praising you. I'm only saying the truth. Hmm. Now you speak like my grandmother. I'm from Amolimi. Amolimi. Yes. No, I, I am not a bad person. Of course. It's not everyone in Amolimi that is evil. Yes. Not evil. Uh, my son. Please, go inside. Bring the pot of soup so that we can eat together. Ne, I am not hungry, but I can make the soup warm for you. Uh, yes, no. Let me get it. So when I saw him, Walking through the passage of the dead, I set him free, brought him to my house to revolve him. Mm. Thank you, Oyine. Thank you. Take care of him. I owe you. Thank 
Casey. Hey! My son! You are alive! Tell you! It has happened! Hey! It has happened! 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 Hmm! He's alive. Did you hear that? He's alive. He's alive. Eki is alive. The gods are wise. The gods are wise. May the gods be praised. Eki is alive. Go. Are you happy? My daughter. Me. How are you? I'm well. It's okay. Come on. Hmm? Will you marry me? Yes. Yes, I, I will marry you. Yes. Let's go to the back. <laughs> Is that okay, Zee? Yes, Nne. How are you? Nne, I'm well. Hmm. Okay, Zee. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Nne, keke me. I am fine. Hola, Mme. Nne. Hmm? Have you seen okay, Zee? Yes. And we are happy? Yes, Nne. Hey! Nne. Eh? Ori? Nne. Hey, what's up, Mme? Nne. Hey! 
Mm. We must do this. We must all agree to come back if we die in this life so that we all can enjoy love. Annie, bear witness to this oath today that we must all come back together to complete this friendship of love. He says, he says, he says. Amen, oh man, I got you. 